Hi there! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download your Folito Line OneNote Planner with the Microsoft Business or School account on your computer. This method works for most computers. So whether you have a PC or Mac, you can try this method. I'm working on a Windows 11 computer. Your interface may look different from mine if you're on Windows 10 or Mac, but don't worry. The download process is the same. I'll walk you all through this. The idea is you download the planner with the Microsoft personal account first, and you transfer the planner to your business or school account. So if you don't have a personal account, please create one. Okay, first we need to download the planner using a Microsoft personal account. I've made tutorials how to do so. Please see the tutorial links in the description. Now we've opened the planner in the OneNote app under my personal account. As you can see here, I've signed into a Microsoft school account in my OneNote already. You can click Add Account to sign into your work or school account. Okay. Now we have both our personal and work or school account signed into the OneNote app. Before we transfer the planner to the work or school account, you need to make sure the planner is fully synced. The first time you open the planner, it may take some time to fully sync. The sync icon should disappear if the planner is fully synced. Okay. Let's create a new notebook by clicking Add Notebook. I'll name it 2023 Planner for School. And make sure you select your work or school account and click Create. Now let's go to the original planner, select the yearly section, right click, move or copy section, select the notebook we just created, and select copy. Okay, now you can go ahead to copy the rest of the sections one by one over to the new notebook. This new notebook 2023 planner for school should appear in the OneDrive that is associated with the school account I used in this demo. You can go to your work or school OneDrive and check if this notebook is in the My Files folder or the Documents folder. If you need to use the planner on your tablet, say iPad, just make sure you sign in to your work or school account on your iPad. Then you should see the file there.